<laughs> Nelson Thomas is a fierce competitor, an elite athlete who was on top of the world. But now, he's about to battle the unknown. Nelson Thomas, how are you doing? <laughs> um, I'm doing a lot better. Um, I'm doing good, I'm smiling. And it's that million dollar smile and swagger that made this 26 year old a huge reality TV star. He was a top contestant on MTV's The Challenge. The lights were on me. It was like Friday Night Lights. Everyone screaming at you. You had the crowd up there. You had your teammate beside you. Yes, sir! Your boy finally won a challenge. I broke the losing streak. I thought I was Superman. I thought I was untouchable. I thought I was a man. My social media went crazy. I walked around. People wanted to take pictures with me. He launched his own fitness program called Nelly T's Training and a clothing line called Level Up. I was passionate about making people feel good, motivating people. That's who I was. I know I was destined for more and I didn't know what it was and I thought it was a challenge. I thought it was winning. I thought it was getting first place. But one decision changed everything. Out with friends, having a couple of drinks, nothing unusual. Well, that night I had too many drinks and my life changed forever. It was March 5th, 2023. It's the worst night of my life. The right place at the right time. That Minnesota Vikings wide receiver KJ Osborne was in an Uber on his way to an early morning off-season training session in Austin. Nelson was driving the car in front of him. Osborne saw the car crash and burst into flames. Next thing you know, I wake up and the car is on fire and I thought I was in hell. I thought I was in hell. Come on, come on. This is cell phone video from right after the crash. I literally opened my eyes and all I could see is flames. And I'm like, I'm dead. Please. Nelson says a brave woman named Rita was the first person to start pulling him out of the car. And she was helped by other bystanders, Abdul, Arthur, and KJ Osborne. Everybody's just screaming, get out the car, get out the car. And they finally opened the passenger door and I try to pull myself out but I was stuck. My leg was stuck and I don't know why, but my adrenaline hit and I just pulled my leg as hard as possible. And then I pulled myself halfway out the car and they were able to pull me the rest of the way. They were just thanking us that, you know, we saved this guy's life. And, um, you know, without us that, you know, he, he definitely, you know, could have definitely for sure burned in that car. And I'm just looking up at the sky. God, please, I don't want to die. God, please, I don't want to die. And I blacked out. When Nelson woke up in the hospital, he said he started praying. I prayed that, um, that I didn't hurt nobody else. That, that accident only involved me and me only. If I would have hurt somebody that night, I don't know how I would have lived with myself. What would you say to people about drinking and driving? To everyone out there, please, please call an Uber, call a friend. Walk home, sleep where you're at. Do not drink and drive. Nelson's ankle was crushed. It's been ups, downs. He battled severe depression. And when he revealed his crash was caused by drinking and driving, he was attacked on social media. People say, go hang me. Go hang yourself, go hang yourself. I hope you overdose on pills. I hope you die in the hospital. I hope you don't recover from that accident. The Nelson leaned into his faith to fight through the darkness. This right here is really what helped me. He's been through more than six surgeries and relentless rehabilitation. He even tried stem cell injections in Mexico. Nothing worked. Tell me, I have a non-union bone. It doesn't want to heal. Doctors told him he had two ankle fusion options that would limit his mobility. But I wouldn't be able to run. I wouldn't be able to walk barely. And I'll be in pain throughout, I don't know how long the doctor said but there was another more aggressive option. Or a word that I wouldn't let nobody say, not one person. I wouldn't even let you think about it. Amputation. What are they gonna do? On March 5th of 2024, they're gonna cut off my right foot. From the top of the ankle? They're gonna cut it off right here. I'll be a below knee amputee. And uh, it's even scary to say that, man. March 5th, 2024. 
one year to the day of his near fatal accident, and he's walking into it, ready to compete in a new chapter of life. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.